G'day guys, it's Grant here today. And one of the things I want to show you today is a product from JB Weld. It's called the Essential Travel Pack. Why don't we take a closer look? Here it is here. Now, one of the things I like about it, it's a pack that's already in a plastic container. Inside it are a series of epoxy putties, epoxy resin, and some silicon sealer and an applicator. Now, the beauty thing about it is they've taken the hard work about just trying to decide what putty do you use for what job. Now our RVs, they're made of aluminium, steel, plastics, carbon fibre, all sorts of different modern products these days. They've got in this essential pack something for steel, something for water, so like your water tanks and your water hoses, something for just your general plastics, and of course the uh, two pack and the sealer would be used for other making gaskets and the, the like. On the rear of it, it also labels up what the products actually are. Gives you a bit of a guide as to how long it would take to put something together, how long it would take for it to go off and then what the strength of it is going to be when it's finished. So what I thought I'd do today is perhaps demonstrate how some of these putties work. So what I'll do is I'll get something that sort of simulates a problem that you might have on your RV and we'll set it up here and see how the putty goes. Okay, so I've got something here that we're going to simulate and use some putty. So this is a bit of pipe. Imagine this is underneath your RV. Could be a bit of waste pipe, could be the pipe that goes to your grey water tank, could be you know any, any type of pipe that's been hit by a stone. Right? We see it quite regularly out on the tracks. Someone comes off a dirt road and their pipes are damaged. So how do you go about fixing something like that when you're in the bush? Well, this is where the plastic weld putty for plastic is going to be used. Now, you do need to prepare it first. So I've already uh, hit it with some sandpaper to roughen it up so we've got something to adhere to. And I've cleaned it down with a bit of just methylated spirit. So it's clean, ready to go. Now you should be wearing some sort of PPE, but mainly when you finish it and you're going to sand it, you, you don't want to get that stuff in your eyes, so you'd need to wear some glasses, but for putting the putty on is not so necessary. What we do need to do now is get the putty out. Now, just to show you the putty, there it is there. It's uh, wrapped in some outer sheathing and it's got a cover on the front. I'll just take that cover off and you can see this is where it's the two pack part of it. So we've got the steel insert, what they call this, the, 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 the main product. And then we've got the hard down. We're gonna do is mix these two together. So what we'll do is we'll just cut off a piece. I reckon somewhere about there is gonna be more than enough. Let's put the knife through it. Tear it to one side. Let's push that back into a bit of a shape. And I'll put the back on it. And that can go back in the box tube ready for another day Put that out of the way. right so now we've got the putty there's a bit of that, that plastic covering on it so I do need to get that off of it I'll just peel that back with the knife right. it's coming away Now, before I put it all and start working it, on goes my gloves. And this brings back my childhood days of playing with plasticine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work the two products together. And make a nice mix. Well, I think we've just about got it all together. It's now sort of one color, a light bluey gray. Now, you've got about 20 minutes when, when you've done it at this stage, because it's starting to cure. Uh, and in 20 minutes time, she will have gone off. So you do need to move really quickly. Anyway, that's ready to go. So there it is, there's the consistency of it. I can still mold it reasonably well. 
and here's our bit of pipe. So what we now need to do is get that putty into that pipe, get a bit of it into the hole as well. So here we go, let's put it on and slowly mold it into shape. Now you can see if that was a fitting, say it was a pipe fitting and it was broken at, a, at, a, at an elbow joint, something like that. Well, how would you go about it then? Well, the beauty is you can shape it into that position. So imagine a bit of pipe coming this way. You could actually fit that into the, and make it work. So look, that, that's it's going on reasonably well. Just push it a bit harder in the centre to make sure it's gone in that hole a bit. And I reckon that'll do it. Pretty happy with that. We'll leave it at that point. Now, in the case of the plastic one, it does need about three hours to fully cure. Now, the three hours is fully cured means at that point, if you needed to drill it, you could drill it. If you wanted to file it, sand it, you can even paint it at that point. So given that this is going underneath, we won't be doing any of that. The pipe's finished. I think we'll put that aside now and uh, we'll come back in three hours time and see what it's looking like. Okay, with the plastic one now curing, I've got a bit of steel. Now, this bit of steel could be, imagine that it's a strap holding your tank underneath. Could be a bracket that's holding your aerial up or a bracket inside your van. And maybe over time it started to fatigue. So to help that along the way, I've uh, put a bit of a crack in it, as you can see. And uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to our travel pack. This time, same process, but we're gonna use the one that's recommended for steel. Okay, that's about ready to go. Now, this one is a little bit different. We've got three to five minutes to work with this one. It goes off a lot quicker, so we need to move fast. I've cleaned it all up, ready to go. I've got the putty. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use, I'm gonna split it actually in, in the case of this one, because it's an L bracket. I'm gonna put a bit around the back here. Work that into position. And a bit underneath. Work that into position, join the two together. I'm going to work it into shape. Remembering that, you know, once this goes off and it's hardened, we could, you know, if we wanted to do, file it, sand it, grind it, drill it. Okay, that's looking pretty good for what I'm wanting to achieve here. I think that's not too bad. Well, here we are some three hours later. Let's have a look at those little projects that we tackled a little earlier, starting off with our metal bracket. Now, I can tell you that has bonded extremely well. That bracket is solid as a rock. If you were now needing to mount that and hold something up with it, you'd have no trouble at all. Now, one of the things I did mention earlier is you could you know, put a file to this and file it down and shape it and sand it and paint it up so that it aesthetically looked okay. But from a strengthening point of view, that bracket is rock solid. Now the other bit we had was that pipe. Now this pipe, you know, underneath your van, you know, it could have even been a, a tank that we've patched up. Let's have a look. That is solid as. That is not going anywhere. So I'd be very confident now, you know, to if that we had to put water through that, we would be able to put water through it and we would have no leaks. Of course. If it was a cosmetic area and you wanted to tidy it up, you know, you could easily put a file over that, sand it and paint it and blend it in. So job done in that case as well. Well, there you have it. It's the JB Weld Essential Travel Pack. It's an all round bonding solution. All we've got left to do now is to pack it away in our van, ready for our next trip.